today I wanted to talk about some simple little tips and tricks to make your digital art go a little quicker. Maybe not quicker, smoother? I don't know, here's some digital art tips. So my first tip is instead of always picking colors with your eye and trying to get it right the first time, try laying down a color and then play with it in the hue, saturation, brightness settings. Photoshop and Clip Studio, I believe it's uh, Control U that will open that little dialog box up. So yeah, mess around with your colors in there. It gives you a lot of variety and you can try a whole bunch of different things in a short amount of time. Uh, my second tip is to flip your canvas often. It's super easy in digital programs, so make sure you do it often and you'll get rid of all that wonkiness and you can test how it looks when you flip it. <laughs> so I know Clip Studio Paint has a button that allows you to flip horizontally and vertically and a button that allows you to rotate the canvas in a whole bunch of different ways. I think in Photoshop you need to set the hotkey manually for it. So yeah, just go into your hotkey settings in Photoshop and change it to a new hotkey. I guess you can do it through the menu too. Anyways, <laughs> but do it. It'll save you so much pain. When you're painting and you have your brush tool working for you, this works in Photoshop and Clip Studio, by the way. When you're using your brush tool, hold the Alt key and it will turn into a color picker so that you can switch between colors quickly. That'll save you a lot of time and pain. <laughs> Number four, so instead of relying on the magic wand or the fill bucket tool to fill sections in, because you know, you know that problem when you try to fill in a section on your line art and there's a, a break somewhere in it and it like fills the whole page or like half the page and it's so frustrating. To get around that, what I usually do is I use a little brush and I go around the edge of the inside edge of the line art section I'm working on and close that and make sure it's closed and then I fill bucket that. It'll save you from filling your whole page with the fill bucket tool. Alternatively, use a big brush. I see you guys with your tiny little brushes when you're trying to fill things in. Quit doing that. Use a big brush. They have them for a reason. <laughs> and finally, so this tip is a little trickier and I think it's exclusive to Clip Studio Paint, though I haven't looked into it in Photoshop so I might be wrong. But I use a nifty little trick where using the reference layer setting, I can have it so that my brush doesn't go over my line work. So I can run the, you know, my paintbrush against the edge of my line art and it won't cross over the line. So the way you do that, it makes like filling in stuff way more easy. Oh my God. So the way to do that, you'll want to create a pen with the setting, do not exceed line of reference layer. And then once you have that pen made, you want to set your line art as a reference layer. And then that way, when you draw, your brush won't go over that reference layer. I can leave a link to tutorial how to do that down below because I had to go look up what the settings were to do that, but it's super helpful. Heck yeah. Anyways, so those are some quick little tips that will help your workflow when you're doing uh, digital artwork. At least I hope. Um, they save me a lot of time and they're pretty simple to do. I think anyone can do them. I just wanted to do something simple and quick and fun tonight. Also, every time I tried to write Clip Studio in my notes, I kept writing Clip Stupid lips. <laughs> Do you, like, do you ever have that where your hand's just like, nope, I'm typing this word, not the one you're thinking. So yeah, anyways. <laughs> That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for listening. Um, so I have a bunch of topics that I've got written down that you guys have requested. So I'm going to slowly go through those throughout this challenge. But if you have any more questions or you'd like to request a video topic, please leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!